This time of the year is a special time in the garden. There are some gorgeous fragrant plants and here are four of my favourites. This is a new release hybrid magnolia. It's 12 months since I planted these blush fairy magnolias. They are gently fragrant and the perfume is most noticeable in the morning and late evening. The flower production is incredible with thousands of blooms produced in spring and summer and the new cream flower is about to be released. This is the Daphne Eternal Fragrance, a very hardy shrub that produces strongly fragrant clusters of waxy star-shaped flowers atop this deep green foliage. Whilst these two may have star power, I've got another couple of shrubs that are just must-haves if you want beautiful fragrance in your garden. Now, they're quite inconspicuous, but if you've ever grown osmanthus, you'll know what I mean. This is the one you want during springtime. It originates from the Yunnan region of China. Now, if you're gonna plant Osmanthus delvaii, make sure you grab this one here too. This is Osmanthus fragrance, and this one will flower in spring, this one in summer, and I've gotta tell you, if it's near an entertaining area or the front door of the house, the fragrance is incredible. Now, whilst the magnolias may be very easy to grow, and the Daphne, well, a lot better than the old Daphne Adora to grow, these guys take a lot more work, but there is a secret to success. You're going to buy your Osmanthus in pots like this, and moving them from a pot to the ground is the real challenge. They do not tolerate stress or shock from transplant at all. So I always soak my plants for five minutes before planting in a bucket of seaweed solution. Now you know that not all seaweeds are the same. The giant kelp that makes sea salt is rich in plant hormones and humates, improving the plant's strength and stimulating strong root growth. It's absolutely essential you invest in the soil with these plants. They cannot be allowed to dry out during summer, but make sure you settle them in with sea soil and then gently encourage growth so the plants establish solidly. But once they're growing, you really want them to grow strongly, and that's where power feed comes in. Now this doesn't just give it a nice gentle feed on a regular basis, absorbed through the foliage and the roots, it actually helps the plant improve its overall general health. It even improves the health of the soil. Now, have you got a gardening success at home that you'd like to show us? Well, simply visit our Facebook site, upload some photos, and you could be in the running to win one of several Seasol gardening packs. And you don't want to miss it. It's going to leave your garden shed looking fantastic, but your garden even better.